Hey Bobcat Nation, hear about all the exciting events happening at Quinnipiac. Take your Zoom background to the next level and focus on your mental health. That and so much more, let's go inside Quinnipiac. Maggie, Maggie, the open is done. Hi, I'm Maggie Smith and welcome to the second episode of Inside Quinnipiac. Glad you're back for another week. There was a lot going on this past week at Quinnipiac, so let's get right to it. It's time for Bobcat Nation in Review. This past weekend showed how out of shape I am, as over 100 members of our community took part in the Bobcat Strong 5K. Participants ran this virtual race on the course of their choice and provided their results to the Recreation Department. My course was all downhill, and I still didn't win. This past Tuesday, the Student Programming Board hosted Trivia Tuesday. Over the last year, this event has been held weekly in the Rocky Top Student Center, but this week the competition came to Zoom with the help of Kahoot. There were a ton of big prizes for the top three student winners. Newsflash, I was not one of them. Congratulations to Leah Lavin for taking first place. On Thursday, more than 75 students learned about the real world of corporate sponsorships and the power of social media through social media and the celebrity influencer role. Presented by the Bachelorette contestant Jason Tartik and his manager Evan Saar, an alum from the class of 2009. It's not like you can or can't do social media. He's like, you must do social media now, right? This is this is a new form of business. It's a new uh, wave. You're going to have a following because of this show. It's lifestyle. Um, it's showing what's going on, the good, the bad, the ugly. Sharing those experiences creates entertainment and engagement. And it's real. It's, it's who I am. It's what I'm experiencing. It might not have worked out for Madison, but it sure did for Bobcat Nation. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, you probably don't watch The Bachelor. Finally, this week we hosted 50 events for over 500 of our future Bobcats. Sessions focused on what academic programs and different parts of student life are. More sessions are planned through April and May. There's a lot of great things happening at Quinnipiac this upcoming week. Let's check in with our events correspondent, Paige Meyer, to check out this week's Q5. Hey Bobcats, it's Monday, if you didn't know, and if you're watching this a little late, well then, just check your calendars, because with days like this, it's hard to keep track. On Monday tonight, April 20th, recognize our outstanding students at the undergrad award ceremony beginning at 6.30 p.m. Have your voice heard in the SGA election on Tuesday, the 21st, on Wednesday, April 22nd at noon, learn how COVID-19 is affecting different parts of the world with a panel discussion with Quinnipiac's international partners. In honor of Earth Day, find out the benefits of Herb Gardens on Thursday, April 23rd. And if you're feeling a little competitive, take part in the Intramural Esports Challenge happening all week. To find out more information on these events and other events, take a scroll down the virtual quad the gathering place for all virtual events at qu.edu slash vq. Stay happy, stay healthy, Bobcats. Back to you, Mags. Thanks, Paige. Are you looking for ways to spice up your quarantine meal routine? Let's head out to our cooking correspondent, Esau Green, with this week's Bobcat Kitchen. Hello, everyone. Today I'm here with my nephew, Zeke, and we're going to show you his green family recipe, one that's been in our family for generations. We're going to be making cereal and milk. First, you take the cereal of your choice and the milk of your choice. This could be almond, soy, 1%, etc. First, you want to take your bowl and you want to get your cereal. But this is the important part. You want to make sure you pour the milk in first. And then you take your cereal. And you make sure you put your cereal on top of the milk. Notice how the cereal sinks delicately into the milk. Z, how is it? It's great. There you have it. Bon appetit. Thanks, Esau, for sending me a bowl. Mmm. Delicious. Social distancing, isolation, the fear of the unknown, there are many things on our minds that we weren't thinking about a month ago. Joining me to talk about ways to manage our mental well-being with everything we are dealing with is Carrie Patton, Executive Director of Health and Wellness, and Tammy Riley, Director of Fitness and Wellbeing. We're facing these new realities that months ago, none of us ever would have imagined. So how can we assess our mental well-being during this crazy time? 
You know, I think first I want to start off with saying that we all need to really try to understand that we are going to experience various emotions. You know, to name a few emotions that might be, as someone might be experiencing, could be feeling fearful, feeling scared, feeling lonely, angry, sad, and anxious. I think it's important to know that it's okay. Like it's okay to experience emotions. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually really healthy, believe it or not. Um, second of all, I think it's important to really understand we tend to forget about physically what happens. You know, you could start to experience some physical changes in your body, um, such as you might start to get a headache. You might start to feel that your heart is racing. You might start to get a stomach ache or sore muscle aches. And those are really great, like somewhat red flags or signals for us to take a look at, because those can help us really understand, hmm, what's going on here? What are some ways that students can stay mentally fit during this time? So part of my background is as a yoga instructor. And one of the things I really like about the, the practice of yoga is that we actually call it a practice, that we acknowledge that every day we roll out our mat or that we go to our workout, that we're different. Right. So if today you could balance on one leg and it was amazing, don't be too attached because tomorrow you might topple over. Right. It's really important that you give yourself permission to be different every day. One day you might be angry, the next day you might be sad, and the next day you might not be able to stop laughing. And it's okay. Right. So it's really important. The first step in all this is to meet yourself where you are. And another thing that I can't stress enough is the idea of establishing a routine. The concept of a routine is very grounding in your body. So when you do have a day that you wake up and maybe you're, it's like harder to get out of bed and you're not feeling great, you could say, okay, wait, but it's eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, I know I have to be up drinking my coffee because I have to log on at 8.30 and I have to do it, right? So that routine can really help us when we're having moments where we're feeling lost or we're not feeling like ourselves. Um, for some people who might need some extra help following that advice, for some people who might feel like all of this is so overwhelming, what resources are available to them and to the rest of the Quinnipiac community? We have a lot of resources, a lot of great um health and wellness services, I could start with, we have counseling services. So if a student was interested to talk with a professional therapist, they can contact the counseling center and we could um, schedule them an appointment. In addition to that, we have our student health center um, that our medical professionals can answer any type of questions or if they needed to make an appointment. And then if you're looking for ways to move, um, I know that we have partnered with the Campus Well online news magazine that we are doing, and we put a lot of recordings and resources, everything from fitness classes that we are doing live via Zoom. We have boot camp, we have core power, um, we have some bar classes, and we have lots of yoga. Things that are easy to do in your home that you don't need a lot of equipment for. Yeah, that is so awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to go check some of those things out. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I think what you said is going to be really helpful for a lot of students. This week, the Bobcat of the Week is John Thomas, professor in the School of Law. From his bold shirts to his ambiguous guitar, he has made online learning interactive, fun, and thoughtful this spring. He mixes humor and storytelling with the real world and real-time issues. He also posts nurturing videos and offers free home delivery of pizza, nachos, and dessert to weekly winners of his puzzle challenges. All of our faculty are working hard to make your online experience the very best it can be. To nominate a professor or your own Bobcat of the Week, tag Quinnipiac U and use the hashtags hashtag BobcatStrong and hashtag BobcatNation. That's all I have for this week's episode of Inside Quinnipiac. Make sure to tune in next week. Stay healthy, safe, and Bobcat strong. Go Bobcats! <laughs>